This video is brought to you by my lovely patrons on Patreon. I'd like to give a huge shout out to Anina, Clay, Mariah, Maddie, Idalis, Dre, Thomas, Tara, Zoe, Zuzia, Ainsley, Sabine, Devalina, Jimma, Bailey, Azzy, Jacqueline, Monica, Jordan, Green, Lizzie, Willow, Danny, Blessing Avery, Maddie, Alexia, B, Max, T, Taylor, M, Lovely, Camille, Antonina, Anna, Valen, Ali, Obsessed, Brianna, Maria, Nicole, Carnations, Kristen, Chappie, Kayla, Tequila, Irene, Autumn, Emily, Sarah, Vanessa, Nini, Nora, and Kibbs. If you would like to support this channel and get some pretty cool perks like weekly audios and weekly novel readings, the link is in the description. Honestly, I am so glad that you convinced me to go that early. I am never going to experience something like that ever again in my life. I know I'm on it. I'm being so for real. That, I don't know. I've never been in the first row of a pit of a concert. So I, I guess I've never really experienced it like that. I've gone to some festivals and it's been cool and it's been fun and enjoyable, but I usually tend to stay towards the back because I think that my spatial anxiety will get the best of me. But being at the front, I don't have to worry about being squished in between people. It was so great. I was there, like electrifying. So thank you, thank you. I I had such a great time with you. Hey, can can we get serious for a second? I know that's not exactly what uh, you'd like to do, but um, I don't know. I I wanted to ask you a very very important question. Yeah, no, a very important question. Um, I was wondering. Uh, if you would like to go study with me. Hey, did, did, I, did I say something wrong? Hey, no, no, no. I, I'm, I'm so sorry if I, if I rushed things. I totally did not mean to. I really, I just kind of was feeling that maybe this was the right moment to do that. And, you know, we've been out on like four or five dates now and... They've all been ended up going so well, and I, I really appreciate your presence. And I, my favorite part of my day is when I call you every single night. Uh, and I don't know, I really just have I'm very interested in you. So I was, I wanted to ask you out, and I thought that we had such a euphoric time tonight that maybe it would be right. But if it's not right, I can totally leave. I, and I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable. Oh, um, yeah, no, I, I'm, you can, you can tell me anything, obviously. I know that's, maybe that's a little bit of an over-exaggeration, it's only been five dates, but I, I, I you can, you can absolutely tell me anything. I trust you completely, wholeheartedly, uh, and, and, and you, you are safe with me, uh, in all regards. Okay. Yeah, no. Um well, I just told you something pretty serious, so I'm I'm totally fine with you throwing one back at me. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I know you I I do remember at I think on our third date when we went when we went to dinner at at that uh fusion place, you did tell me that you used to get bullied and yeah, no. I remember that. Oh. Hey, no, 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 don't look away, don't look away, don't look away. Look at me, look at me. I want you to look at me, please. Please look at me. Please, please, please look at me and do not even start to let those tears well up in your eyes. I promise you that you, you just, please look at me. Uh, that is very brave of you to, to tell me. And I mean, I guess we would have gotten there at some point. I guess I kind of forced the issue. So if if it felt like I forced you into this, I feel terrible. Really? You were you were gonna tell me tonight? That is. I guess we were kind of on the same wavelength, but th that's besides the point. I'm sorry. I'm just still kind of getting caught up in how amazing you are. That's not the point, though. Um. The point is that 
I don't care. No, 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 no. Uh, here, here's the, obviously I care about your story and I care about you as a person and I care about the trauma that you went through and I care about all of that, obviously. I, 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 ho- I hope I didn't misconstrue that too badly th- to, to not save this, but what I mean by I don't care is I, I don't, I don't care that you're trans. Like, I, I care about you so much. And my, if we're being honest with each other, I'm, I'm a very open person when it comes to stuff like this. This is also something I haven't told you, but you know, um, I'm pretty open and, uh, my big connection when it comes to romance and dating and stuff like that is I, 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 I care about the soul more than anything. I care about the person, the, the the mind that's in the body. You know what I mean? And you are a fantastic young woman that I have been honored to get to know for an elongated period of time or as long as I have. And I, I can't say anything but nice things about you. You, you have shown me a level of appreciation that I don't often see in partners in their entire span of existence, let alone starting out. Um, I feel so comfortable and confident around you and I am not a confident person whatsoever, but you make me feel that way because of your comfort, because you make me feel okay to be who I am around you. And I need you to know that it is totally okay for you to be who you are around me. And I'm so sorry that you felt because of how, uh, I hope this doesn't sound corny, how society is when with it, when it comes to this shit, that you felt like you maybe had to hide this from me. I know that coming out at your own pace to me is was essential, but I, I, I want you to, I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous. I want you to know that I care. I want you to know that this changes absolutely nothing and I would still absolutely love to be in a relationship with you. You are the sweetest, sweetest person. You're so sweet. You're so kind. The way in which you handle every single situation that's thrown at you, every time that you tell me about an interaction that you had on a work day that didn't go well, the way that you're able to dismantle people through sh- and dismantle their like rough and tough outside persona through sheer and pure happiness and stick to and understanding of body language and everything. You're smart. You're so, I have never met someone as emotionally intelligent as you. You're brilliant. You, you are, you are. The way in which we do that one night when we went bowling with with all of my friends the way in which you were able to completely dissect each of their personalities without having any idea previously because i never talk about my friends because as you saw they're pretty embarrassing but you were able to just understand them completely within talking to them for five minutes you, you you have everything I want in a life partner. I want you to be my partner. And, and that's not going to change just because you are you were someone who wasn't living their full truth and now you are. Yeah. I mean it a million percent. There is nothing that you could tell me aside from maybe being a serial killer or having committed heinous crimes. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> that would change my opinion on you. As 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 a as a young up-and-coming singer-songwriter once said, you're amazing just the way you are. <laughs> I you know, I'm gonna be honest with you. That was that was for a laugh. I didn't think I'd get you cry into the Bruno Mars song. I do have to tell you something, though. You you never actually uh, answered my question. 
Yeah, no, you didn't. You didn't answer my question. <laughs> Baby, my question was... Oh, that came out early. I, I, uh, my question was, would you be interested in going study with me? Yes, of course I would be interested in going study with you. Have you not gotten that from this entire conversation? If, if, if being in a relationship with you leads to more nights like every night that I've spent with you, especially tonight, I am all in on us. I am. You mean the world to me and I am, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that you said yes. I, and I really appreciate you for entrusting me with that information. You are amazing and I promise to keep you safe in any single possible way. I do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, of course. You can you can obviously I uh, you can obviously get a kiss. <laughs> One more. Okay. Three's a, three's a lucky number, right? I, I, I felt like that would have been good. <laughs> Stop. You're embarrassing me. You are so sweet. You're so cute. So, um, what are we doing now? <laughs> uh, trust me, I am very, very, very interested in some, uh, extracurricular activities with you as uh you would say trust me i i think you're absolutely gorgeous and stunning and um all that and i i, I need you to know that that doesn't bother me at all regardless of what the situation is i love you for you and i am attracted to you for you. what did i say what hey that wasn't supposed to come out for another couple dates, even though I definitely feel that way. So let's just skip over that and pretend I didn't say it at all, okay? The point is that um, although I would be interested in, you know, doing that, um, I I don't I don't want it to be something that happens just because we're going steady now and because we've made each other incredibly emotionally vulnerable in the current moment i want it to happen when we both feel ready and i know we probably both aren't thinking as um pro properly or we don't have our head on heads on as tight as we should especially me but yeah <laughs> Yes, that was an innuendo. Yes, thank you very much. I I appreciate the recognition. But uh, how about we just maybe cuddle up for the night? Yeah, yeah, we can watch whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll just get into my PJs and maybe get you an oversized hoodie. If you're comfortable with that. All right, sounds good. And um, one, one last thing. Do you mind if I call you baby? <laughs> All the pet names? I'm down for sure. All right. Mwah.